we're, we're going to give you an update on the, as, as the mayor said, on the community center and the soccer fields. <clears throat> if we have time left, I'll give you a quick update on Pompey and the baseball fields. Uh, but Mark Owing with Craft and Tall will get us started tonight on the community center. Okay. Um, there's been a lot of activity since our public input sessions and the bond uh, refinance election. We've been focused on getting our construction management partner, NAPOLTS, on board, and we started our drawing process in May. We plan to be uh, complete with our drawings in the third week of February. So we're wrapping that up shortly. We just finished up our design development phase. Uh, NAPOLTS was uh, working on looking at the constructability issues with that package, and we'll move on from there. Several things that we've been doing in conjunction with the building design is we've been uh, working with uh, Felicia and Jamie and the mayor in the city to broker a deal with Conway Development Corp on land swap at that property at the existing Axiom building, which we purchased. Uh, it's an existing building. Altogether, the facility is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 176,000 square feet. So it's fairly large. A large percentage of that is remodel uh, work that we're doing in the existing building. Uh, and then the new natatorium component uh, and the new outdoor uh, aquatics component with that as well. So we've been working on uh, kind of documenting the existing building, working with NAPOLTS to see what's salvageable, what can be used, what how your dollars can be spent uh, the best, and get the most bang for your buck out of that project. And then working with the pool consultants to get the best aquatic features that we can do. Uh, other than that, um, really think uh, you're going to have an amazing facility. There's some pictures of it now. Um, we're working really hard with the lighting designer to light it very effectively um, and show off the facility. Um, with that, if there are any other questions on the constructability side of NAPOLTS, we'll be in touch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and uh, council members. I want to introduce, introduce our uh, project management team led by Mike Armstrong. We've got Chris Tyler and Alex Graves. Uh, basically, they're going to let you know what we've been working on, but it boils down to there's been a lot of work and a lot of effort by a lot of people so far, but we're anxious to get going here on the construction part of it. Yep. Here's my notes right quick for you. So as Mark mentioned, he's he's been working on design. We've been given budget input to help, Mark, as Mark said, stretch that dollar as long as far as we could. Uh, we've done some site investigation on the existing build, building. We've looked at the layout of it. We've looked at the existing systems. And we want to understand that and try to proactively look at problems and issues. Or it's a good building with good bones. We just got to figure out how it customizes to, 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 to the aquatic center. Um, you know, we've done constructability reviews in-house. Uh, we're trying to figure out how we're going to tailor this to, to hit the subcontractor market, again, to get our, us the best value. Absolutely. And also, we've been holding uh, meetings with the complete project team. Uh, that includes the design team, the city Conway team, along with the pure construction team, uh, keeping everybody updated. Uh, we've been doing the holding those almost biweekly since uh, since the end of May, and so everybody's been putting a lot of hours in and uh, and, keep, and been keeping everybody updated. So um, everything's uh, progressing very well. It's been a good collaborative effort working with the city and working with the design team, trying to figure out what's the best use. Uh, one example, we work with Steve. I know there, he's talked about the baseball fields. We're moving the dirt over to the community center right now. So, uh, so that's a lot of trading. You know, anyway, any questions for us? I have any questions on the community center? I guess not, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you all. You can start playing tomorrow. We won't play football. <laughs> it's your swimsuit, Theo. Huh? It's your swimsuit. <laughs> Summer again. It's your ready. beach body on. I don't know about the beach body, but I got, I got, got the speedos. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Next, we'll give you an update on so the much. soccer yeah. facility, and Sally Horsey with Half and Associates will kick that off. Thank you, Dave. I'm Sally with Half Associates, and our design team consists of our uh, civil engineers, um, also a group of landscape architects, and h and &E Architecture with Liz is present here tonight from her firm. So I wanted to show you a little bit of the architecture that we're working on. Um, 
this is for the restroom concessions building. We have um, a whole lot of uh, plumbing fixtures in this building to serve the 10 lighted soccer fields on the site. Um, this building is a little bit of a, a kind of combination but between Curtis Walker and the City of Colleges Park. So it is, it's a nice level of finishes. And we have a nice open air space with uh, covered pavilions or covered picnic tables, um, the concessions, there's an office in there, there's some storage. Uh, we have parking for over 500 here, and then there will be additional parking with a connection at the south end to the parking at Curtis Walker, so that can be shared as well. Um, we do have a, a small uh, shop on the site for a maintenance shed there, maintenance building, and um, that um, that as well as a future playground, future um, splash pad, and then we even have space for some future parking. And then along North Museum, there is a dash line there, and we've accounted for, in our planning here, for the regional trail that will come through there. So uh, we've, we've worked with these things in mind to plan ahead for when that happens, you'll have a space for it, and you won't be tearing something out that you just put in. Um, we do have... Um, uh, Quite a bit of water that's coming from the east side of, of North Museum there um, that we're having to account for in our in our structures, our drainage structures where we have crossings. So um, this project has um, escalated in its its value. The the pricing today is um, a lot more than it was two years ago when we first put our our fee together for this, and um, um, this was also a, an original uh, bond amount was from a concept plan. And um, here we are two days later, or two years later, dealing with um, the actual design work. We're at 90% right now on the civil, and that package is being reviewed by the planning department right now. Um, the architecture component is, is coming along and will be finished uh, in, in January, possibly kind of towards the end of January. But um, in the meantime, uh, we're 90% on the civil site. This is a 40-acre site. It's a whole lot of site work. Uh, the geotech information uh, was not good news that came in, so that's an additional cost that we had to deal with, just along with uh, the market value of uh, uh, labor and materials that has gone up tremendously over the past two years. So uh, at that point, I'll bring in Mike to talk about uh, the cost from uh, and, and just the project in general. Can I ask a question? Uh -huh. How big a problem is, is the flooding? Because I know the field out here was terrible. Water coming from the east. Yeah, no, the the fields are all good. The if you look at the top, you see the the contours. That whole site just kind of sheet flows down, so all the water will go around the fields. There won't there won't be any flooding there at all. Good. Thanks, Sally, for it's talking about cost long. escalation and turn it over to us. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, as she mentioned, the civil documents are just about complete. We're, um, you know, we work with a team. I think we're going to be able to put those on the, on the street to start getting uh, bids um, early uh, early uh, January. Uh, the architect, as she mentioned, the architectural design should be done late January. Uh, we've put a lot of effort into this. So we've done, a, we've looked at a lot of different things on this project, and it's been a, you know, it's been a good project to work with Steve and the team. It, you know, <laughs> we should be able to start construction hopefully. In, in spring and be ready for play in summer of 24. Yeah. 24? Uh, summer of 24. It'll come quick. I've already booked my tent. I, 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 get, the, I get the aquatic center stuff. That, that was just totally spec drawings and, you know, just uh, that's what it could look like. We've got to start from scratch, but a lot to it. A lot of dirt work. It's a lot of earth work. Well, we want to let the fields Plus grow the in. Plus the glass nine? We want to let the fields grow in. That's the biggest thing. When we plant the grass, we got to let the fields grow in to make sure that we get a good playing surface for the, the players. Well, obviously, schedule, we, we could have groundbreaking in January. And we could be started out there in spring of this year. So, rain permitting, as we all see outside right now. Of course. So. Yeah. We'll just start.
Okay, I would like to thank Sarah Murphy again with the Human Development Center for, for donating this land to the city. We were building this. That was a, a tremendous help, a tremendous, tremendous asset for us. Council, this went a little quicker than I thought it would. So we've got, oh, I'm sorry, Steve, you coming back up? We'll just come on up. Just a quick update. Uh, Poppy is going really well uh, with even mm -hmm. with all this rain that uh, we've had. We had a site meeting last Wednesday. Their water's not puzzling. It's moving off the site. So that's going really well. They're a, they were ahead of schedule <laughs> until this rain came. Same way with the baseball fields. That was ahead of schedule until the rains came. We've got turf going down on one of uh, the fields in the first four. Fields one through four. Uh, dirt's ready to be moved off uh, the other six through, or I mean, five through eight, and then they'll get started on uh, field nine. But that's that's going pretty well, too. So I yeah. just want to give you an update on those. Yeah, they hit the ground running over there at Pompey. Oh, they did. Yeah. When, when will that be open? I mean, Veterans Memorial. When, when will that? A lot of people are asking what, what it is, and so I wish we'd put a sign up future. We can know, do that. It's Veterans Plaza. Uh, yeah. Plaza is for our. Military personnel and their yeah, families, yeah. past, present, and future. It might be even a, you know, <clears throat> you know, for the soccer fields uh, opening, you know, sign spring of I think our plans for each of the sites is to is to put up, put up some okay. signage once we okay, we're good. get moving. So just inform people. We actually have a big sign that says uh, <laughs> "Future Home of Conway Community Center." And it's taller than I am. It's about this wide, <laughs> and I picked it up from the first. From down here and took it to Felicia's office and stuck in her office. I said, it's going to stay here till we get something open. <laughs> <laughs> so you picked it up? I did. All by my little self. Well, Mr. Mayor, yes, if, if what I kind of heard was we're anticipating costs are going to be a little more than mm -hmm. yes. thought. So could we maybe in January or February have a committee meeting to get an update on expenditures for parks projects so we can kind of see what we have available? Sure. To put towards so that we can mm -hmm. keep all these projects moving. That's really what I'm kind Happy. of behind that. We've, we've, got, we've got it all laid out, but be glad to get that to y'all. Yep. No problem. All right. Anything else? About the boat box lifts that they were doing. Uh, boat slips are in. We plan to come to council with rates for those slips uh, first meeting in January. And we've got some comparisons from other marinas. Uh, what we what we're going to propose is just a flat rate for everybody. We f we think it's fair enough that we can do it like we did the expo, where we don't do nonprofit or any discounts. This is this is it. It's a yearly fee. A Pardon year me? a yearly fee. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I got a, I got another question. I know I was late. I'm sorry. Uh, when is the proposed time to have the pickleball in the swim pool? Did y'all? No, they we haven't got a date set on that. Okay, that's fine. I just yeah, no, no. We're, I was trying to get in, but my car flooded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, the pickleball has probably generated more interest than anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to be able to have some good tournaments, things like that. Okay, council. We have 45 minutes until the next meeting starts. Y'all are okay? We'll adjourn till uh, till we start 6:30. Thank you.